Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks very much for joining us again today. I've got a very short video tutorial for you today that will take you through how to set up a GoDaddy domain into a Weebly client site. So just before I get into it, uh, there's a free trial version of Weebly down in the description for this video, available as a link for you. So if you want to give this whole website builder a go, then all you need to do is click that link just down below and that will take you straight through to a completely free trial version of it uh, so you can utilize it all for free yourself. So to do what we need to today to connect a GoDaddy domain to a Weebly site. So presumably you're going to be doing this for a client and um, you'd need to sort of have access to both accounts in order to do that. So you'd need access to your, obviously, the GoDaddy account which owns the domain as well as the Weebly site. Um, presumably you've got that, so you'd log into the GoDaddy domain uh, where the URL exists. You can see mine is here, head to the dashboard, and once you've gotten there, you can just hit that and hit domains there. Okay, so you hit uh, need to go to this domain management page, which looks like this. Then when you get there, if you click on the domain name itself in GoDaddy, then this will open this page, which you then need to go to use my domain here. Okay, so that's what you need to click on. Then this wizard opens. So what we need to do here is obviously select connect to an existing site. And that will uh, take you through it step by step. Obviously, uh, you're going to need to find Weebly in the list here. As it appears for me, it's the third down on the left-hand side here. So Weebly is there. You're going to want to select Connect Domain. Hopefully, this uh, you're almost done, as it says, but there's a few uh, steps left to complete. So now, at this point, you go to Weebly. You click Edit next to the site that you want to connect to. And then uh, click the Settings and change Settings under the site address. Okay, so... Um, this is something that you're going to need access to that to log in. Sometimes it allows you to do it uh, through the URL as well, but for today's purposes, it's taken it through. So it's taken us through this way. So depending when you do this, the, the sort of process of doing it might vary as well. Okay? So like it says, um, go into Weebly. Once you're back into Weebly, head to your dashboard and it should look something similar to this. I've just created this um, basic website just for the purposes of this tutorial. Select website here on the left hand side and select edit site there. So once you're there, if you select the edit button, that will allow you then to open the website editor. Now you can see here now this prompted us to select a domain name. So obviously we know what that is. Um, and we're going to select, you know, connect or transfer it now from this wizard here. Okay, so it's going to ask us to type that in. It's got that there as well. Okay, so I'm just going to go for that one. And then um, we're just going to connect that domain. Okay, so to one that we already own. Obviously, at this stage, um, it's going to prompt you to upgrade to a premium package. Um, so you're going to need to do that to enable this to happen for your client. Okay, so um, I'm going to skip this part because <laughs> I don't want you to have to watch me uh, fill in my details and all the rest of it. So once I'm done, I'll be right back with you. So once you've done that and you've upgraded, um, you know, to the yearly plan or whatever one you've chosen, you'll be back then at this stage in the wizard. Um, and then you can select make the DNS changes yourself. And that will bring you to this little step. Um, and as you can see, it's got a little set of instructions for GoDaddy in, in case you kind of run into any issues. In uh, GoDaddy, you're basically going to need to navigate to this page, which is the DNS management page. Uh, so in the uh, dashboard, you can see that we've got this DNS um, option right here. And if you go there, and if you go to manage zones, that will then allow you to manage uh, that sort of particular URL and if you open that you just click on it then that brings you here to this page so this is the page that you're going to need to to get to copy and paste this um, IP address right here uh, so that's the IP address that you'd need to make GoDaddy point to 
Okay, so all you need to do is select that, select copy there, right click it and select copy, and then head back to this DNS page, and then it's the A record here that you wanna uh, replace, and paste it in there. Now, as you can see, um, some of you, it's also a sort of problem I've been researching this evening. Some of you may encounter this issue where you've bought a domain on GoDaddy, and as you can see, I'm, I've am i got the issue right now where you can't edit that A record. Um, so you could use then the forwarding option to um, circumvent that problem. So add forwarding, and then all you'd need to do there is just type in um, the URL that you're trying to connect to. Just as so, and then make that a permanent forward type and save that. And that will then ensure that that URL connect, connects to that uh, domain name. Uh, so you can see that's uh, been successful now, and that's kind of been added um, to that DNS record for that particular domain. As you may or may not know, those uh, changes can take up to 48 hours to take effect. Okay, so, but we've told the Weebly, and, and make sure you hit done on this little wizard as well before you go. We've told this Weebly uh, site now that that is the URL that it's meant to point to. And now you've told the GoDaddy um, DNS domain management in one way, one shape or form uh, to point to that. Uh, IP address as well uh, for that Weebly site. Okay, so and that concludes the video tutorial. So like I said, there's a link to Weebly in the description for this video just down below. Um, so if you'd like to try it out for completely free, all you need to do is click that. Um, if you've enjoyed the video and you want to see more content of this nature, give us a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any suggestions for future videos or anything like that, uh, leave them as comments down below. Thank you very much.